Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you some tips and tricks in regards to what to write for your Gilman Scholarship essay. So stay tuned and keep on watching if you want to increase your chances of winning this scholarship. When applying for the scholarship, there are two essays you need to write and I'm here to help you write one of those essays. That one essay is going to be your statement of purpose essay which is the essay that pretty much tells the Gilman Scholarship Program who you are and where you come from. There are a few things that the Gilman Scholarship looks for in potential Gilman Scholars. And I did take some notes based off of the website and I'm just gonna go ahead and read them. So one of the things that the Gilman Scholarship Program looks for is an undergraduate university student a university student who has a high financial need, a university student who is underrepresented in education abroad, first generation university students, uh, students who are studying STEM related fields, so students who are studying science, technology, engineering, or math, and students who attend HBCUs or historically black colleges or universities, students who attend minority serving institutions, students who attend community colleges, or students who study in regions of the world that are not as popular, such as Central America, South America, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Western Europe is probably the most popular study abroad destination, but the Gilman Scholarship looks for students who study in not as popular regions of the world. But just because the Gilman Scholarship essay is looking for these things when you're writing your essay does not mean you have to check every one of these boxes. For example, in my case, I studied abroad in England, which is probably the most popular study abroad destination, yet I was still awarded the scholarship. I also do not study a STEM-related field, and I am a student who does not attend a HBCU. And remember, the Gilman Scholarship wants to know who you are as a person and where you come from. What world do you live in and why do you want to study abroad? Why can't you just study in your home university? Why do you have to travel? So before I conclude my video, I just want to say if you or someone you know is interested in studying abroad, please take a look at the Gilman Scholarship's website. The scholarship definitely helped me and I believe it can help you as well. Do not let money be the reason as to why you do not study abroad. There are financial resources available to you. You just need to seek them out. Studying abroad is probably the biggest learning experience I have had in my college career. Not only did I learn within the classroom, but I also learned outside of the classroom as well. I learned so much about the world and about my surroundings, and I feel more confident now about navigating my surroundings. So with all of that being said, please leave a comment down below so I can see what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified for future videos. And don't forget to like to show your support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.